Hello, everyone. We are very glad to share our work on Telecom Cloud. And today, the content we bring to you is practice and thinking of Telecom Cloud management platform based on cloud native. And the slides will be shared by two guys, Zhang Yan and Li Mingxuan, both of them from China Unicom. Uh, I am Zhang Yan. First, I will talk about the Telecom Cloud Management Platform, and we call it Unified Cloud Management Platform. And then Li Mingxuan will give the speech of the cloud native. And the content about the Unified Cloud Management Platform is made up by three parts. Now we go to the first part, the challenges and problems on Telecom Cloud Management. Let me introduce the Telecom Cloud. It is based on OpenStack, which are infrastructure of China Unicom to carry future telecommunication services and support the development of future network service, including 5G service, edge computer services, and so on. With the rapid growth of the scale, of cloud resource and the increasing number of servers, the following challenges have been brought into the management. First of all, the data center resource pools in China Unicom is all over the country. The resource allocation need to be unified and optimized. In order to achieve a good multiple data centers management, it is necessary to consider that providing the capability of accessing to different cloud platforms and unified infrastructure integration. Second, massive physical equipment and cloud resources require unified operation and maintenance, and also need unified monitoring and rapid fault location. And challenges of the Operation and maintenance functions are emphasized. Three, heterogeneous resources requires a unified portal for operation and maintenance. And to shield the differences and improve the service quality, the centralized management of telecom cloud makes it possible to manage the heterogeneity of resources, such as physical machines, virtual machines, containers, and in the physical machines, there was X86 architecture and the ARM architecture will also exist at the same time and in the same resource pool. And four, we need to achieve the unified data governance of the multiple cloud platform and support for custom expansion and open on demand. In order to cope with this, in order to cope with these problems, we have made some corresponding designs for telecom cloud. We established the UCMP to achieve the goal of unified cloud resource management. We have formulated a two-level data centers architecture in regional and local. In regional data center, we use them to deploy regional level platform such as OSS, NFVO, and UCMP. In addition, it also includes NF, VNFM and, uh, con and the control plan network elements of regional level. In local data center, mainly on-demand deployed the forwarding plan network elements and edge computing access network layer elements. The UCMP cooperates with OSS and FAO, enhances the cloud resource operation and maintenance in open stack and also improves the system architecture of telecom cloud.
The UCMP is connecting with PIM and VIM, managing and scheduling of infrastructure unified. It mainly realizes the monitoring of resource failures, alarms, and performance. The business of orchestration is still hand over to NFVO. We need to complete the connections with NFVO and the OSS too. We should keep the consistency of authentication with NFVO for the allocation of virtual resource to avoid the conflicts about the resource reuse. And we also need to improve resource utilization. And we will connect it to OSS in order to form a closed loop of cloud infrastructure operation and maintenance processing. As an important infrastructure management component, UCMP is in line with the overall planning of telecom cloud in functional design and construction. And now we go to the second part, practice and exploration of unified cloud management platform. The UCMP is oriented to resource management, operation and maintenance, unified monitoring and business support in a heterogeneous multi cloud environment. In this picture, we can see the UCMP contains with six modules. One, Portal provides the unified services and unified authentication. Resource management takes responsibility for the unified management of all cloud infra infrastructure. We can control the overall resource allocation by full view at any time. And it also provides the optimal cloud resource configuration. Unify the monitoring to monitor the topology, alarm, performance, capacity, and other information of virtual and physical resources. It can quickly delimit and locate the faults. O and M provide unified operation and maintenance and uh, centralize the, the data governance. CMDB saves the basic information of the resource in the full life circle. And the last is the adaption layer shared with the difference of VM and PIM of different manufacturers at the bottom layer. The cloud resource of various equipment access to the UCMP. The implementation will be achieved step by step and then providing all functions gradually. As the first step, we implemented the two components. There are unified monitoring and adoption layer. In terms of technology selection, we built the preliminary monitoring system of telecom cloud with a two-level architecture based on the open source Prometheus. We build Prometheus secondary level node for each telecom cloud pool, takes the responsible for resource information and data collection. And we build the first level Prometheus master cluster to summarize all the resource pool state. Also, the monitoring system provide a large screen display interface and provide the alarm information subscription interface.
the entire system adopts a cloud-based architecture, and it is built in China Unicom's shelf-built Tiangong Container Cloud Platform. The tasks of the monitoring functions are all achieved based on open source system and components. The project adopts containerized development and promises bending with two holes to achieve indicators collection, query, and storage. Redis takes responsible for login, authentication, and data caching. MySQL achieves storing the detailed data of the alarms and the system management information. Kafka is receiving and summarizing alarm information and uh, forwarding it to the work order system. And the difficulty of UCMP design is similar to the difficulty of NFV3 layer decoupling. And both of them are facing the problem that the different data model and the interfaces during much vendor cloud platform access. We designed a multi-cloud access solution based on the adoption layer to solve this problem. The principle of the adoption layer is as follows. First, it's supporting real-time and offline data collection, real-time conversion of data models, and then it can be self-operated and maintained and it can be upgraded separately. And finally, because the sensitive of the data, it must be independent control and achieve vendor neutrality. Then, based on this design principle, we need to realize three points. One is the collection function of heterogeneous data in the adaption layer, and two, the standardization of the northbound interface, and three, the standardization of the resource data model. Uh, we can see the architecture of the adaption layer from this picture. It designs a set of drivers or each cloud and then adopts the cloud platform in the north direction and in the south and in the south direction and in the north direction it converts the collected data into a unified form. The adoption layer can not only adapt to the cloud system of the NFV but also can adapt to the third-party cloud system of not an FA. And the driver model can also be converted to a non-driver model. Other management platform can obtain the original data through the adoption layer and can also obtain the data processed by UCMP through some open interface. And this this is greatly expands the application range of the adoption layer and can deliver the data from upper layer services. At the same time, the adoption layer can provide its own shelf operation and maintenance functions. The adoption layer is constantly improving. Uh, due to the engineer reason, the adoption layer is constructed first. After the Prometheus monitoring technology stack is determined, the interface is upgraded to Prometheus export mode, from which the performance data and the resource data is pulled by the Prometheus master node. The alarm data interface of the adoption layer is pushed to the Kafka component in real time. 
The third-party platform system realized the real-time processing of alarm data by subscribing to the corresponding topic in Kafka and realized the process of sending the work orders. Based on the adoption layer, the UCMP can get consistent cloud resource access and simple operation and maintenance management and efficient resource integration. Each model of the adoption layer can be elastically scaled according to the amount of the resources and also support the distributed deployment. The UCMP also supports flexible configuration and expansion to the indicators. A unified resource model is designed for the entire domain. Open data collect functions. Other systems can connect to the adoption layer directly and obtain the original data. The efficiency of the heterogeneous cloud integration can be improved, and also the efficiency of the scale expansion needs. The UCMP is centrally de uh, deployed in regional DC to support management with new build and uh, existing cloud resource. Regarding the expect effect of the cloud management platform, and the first is to manage the physical and the virtual resources and can allocate the resource in a unified manner. And the second is to evaluate and approve the resource applications that are on demand and complete the resource isolation and recycling. The UCMP is also achieved the full process automation as the resource management and also the operation and maintenance. Conclusions. Telecom Cloud is the key infrastructure for network transformation of China Unicom, and it is a large-scale commercial practice of OpenStack in the Telecom Cloud, and it is now evolving towards cloud native gradually. The development of the business and applications require a supporting platform based on cloud native. And the last, the UCMP is the basic platform for telecom cloud management. And it is an important guarantee for implementation of cloud native. The UCMP needs to realize the collaboration of heterogeneous clouds such as OpenStack and Kubernetes in the future. The ultimate goal is to build a unified cloud resource operation system based on cloud native. So next part, my colleague Li Mingxuan will introduce the related work about the cloud native in telecom cloud. Hi everyone, I'm Li Mingxuan. Let me introduce the development and the evolution of the next generation of telecom cloud based on cloud native. We divided the telecom cloud into the three development uh, stages. The first stage is the now we are. It is a virtual machine resource pool scenario of three layer can architecture and two layer deployment. Complete a business deployment based on resource. In this stage, cloud platform and cloud manager platform followed our form introduced on, on above, combining the cloud resource management system. It mainly provide virtual machine for NFV and other services and achieve to deploy NFV on cloud. We get the first step from nothing. Now we call for 5G use in business and then telecom cloud as the infrastructure 
carry 5G service need to provide more virtual function, which is the second st stage. It applied the container cloud based on virtual machine and supports 5G service and network slides and fast deployment. Meanwhile, we put the cloud native thinking into telecom cloud and promote the microservice deployment in some business. Then, in the third stage, we want to build a telecom cloud by containers on physical machines, build a new physical container resource pool for abundant business needs, and it provides the network size in business use, which is, it can achieve a second level development of electrical expansion capability. We want to do the business lightweight and fast open network sites in some vertical industry and edge computing scenario. If KCon Cloud has the capability it goes to involve in cloud native, then that is our one of the important goal and direction. So how to involve from vertical machine to container and how to solve the problem in the development of 5G. Actually, 5G's SBA architecture determines the, that container will become the important telecom technology of 5G. Agility and efficiency is the key advantage of a container. We should build an application-oriented infrastructure. The current research direction is based on Kubernetes and focus on providing path capability for business application. Because of the API of Kubernetes is very rich, including five classes such as workload, canoni, service, corporation, and storage, metadata, and the interface number is more than 150 and closely really related with APS. Kubernetes technology upgrades frequently and changes rapidly, quickly, and it takes at least half a year to verify each version by multiple manufacturers to according to the needs of operators. The Kubernetes and the container technologies need to be continuously enhanced in the tech, technical uses, such as a network multiple plane, TBDK, Luma, large page memory, scheduling, and so on. The big, biggest problem is the container complex maintenance. Application driven and the container management is more flexible. Integration across the manufacturer is more difficult. Operation and maintenance interface is more dif different. So container cloud management platform is also very important. The development direction of on unified cloud management platform based on cloud native, there are so key problems we need to think about. The first, supporting the cloud of telecom business operation supporting system and MEC multiple business scenario. The second, cloud resource management enable cloud computing and cloud native collaboration providing the different capability of industry cloud and uh, private cloud. The third, based on the infrastructure of unified cloud resource, achieving the uh, management of resource schedule in data center. In this logic infrastructure picture, the, that on the left uh, white highlight, we think is the future of telecom cloud logic architecture. We divided the technical, telecom cloud into three layers. The industry cloud is on the top. And the management of this layer, cloud management platform plays the supporting role should be the first supporting core network architecture of SBA achieve 5G microservice delivery. The second is supporting OSS clouding and multiple talent resource sharing. The third, providing solution and product based on MEs industry. The fourth is the orchestration capability of providing cloud native in some special measures. The middle layer is a cloud resource layer. You can see the virtual machine cloud platform based on OpenStack. And there is a industry cloud, provide private cloud and the container platform on the OpenStack. And there is also a physical container platform development of uh, independent of OpenStack. In this layer, we first need to build the container platform. 
On the other hand, for the bottom layer, it could be get a, a unified management and a unified orchestration capability of a unified cloud resource pool on data center resource. In the process of a na cloud native transformation of a telecom cloud, we should not just um, consider containerization of container elements, but also consider the change on over company information architecture. The application supports a platform based on cloud native become particularly important. The platform needs to support all telecom cloud resource departure and application management, and also needs to consider, consider the re microservice developer DevOps and uh, middleware. China Unicom always attracts open source, uh, open source uh, communica communities. What cloud is the infrastructure resource system independently developed by China Unicom, which is based on OpenStack? Since from launched on 2009, what cloud has been widely adopted in my uh, in our own data centers and uh, customers uh, in many in the industries. We, what cloud uh, is uh, keeping up uh, with the needs of the new technology and um, market de development and uh, continuously and uh, optimizing? Now it has released the uh, version 6 combined with the new technology development needs on cloud computing, cloud native service mesh and uh, serverless. It has six uh, characterize these uh, ticks, such as comprehensiveness, open, rapid delivery, structure flexibility, efficiency, expensibility, and so on. Meanwhile, we also feedback our research on OpenStack community and other communities. We also share our more practice and achievements into community. That's all. Thank you. Thank you.